Well, hello. It's August. I don't know if I even flew in July. But we're at the new airfield. This was long grass. And now it is a viable flying site. Unbelievable. Thanks to Adam. Thanks to Simon. Here's Simon just about to land. Ooh, what's he doing landing over there? Don't land there, Simon. Oh my word, talk about hover landing. <laughs> wow. Look at that for kidding. So it was Adam and Harry, sorry, who, uh, Harry found the airfield, found the field, and uh, Adam helped him cut the grass. And we now have one gra very grateful, relocated, Rough and Paramotor Club. Right, throttle on, brakes and hands, A's and thumbs. Nicely, but oh yeah, and there we go. Oh yes, oh lovely. Oh, it's nice to be up. Well, that was too easy, and we got a lovely big landing site just there. <laughs> so. Got to cool down a little bit. It's quite the uh, weather has been pump, as you'll know. It's 8th of August today, so there you go. There's the airfield. Woo -woo! What a place it is, eh? That's been cut pretty well, hasn't it? Amazing, amazing boys. Oh, bit of a power line running along the edge, but otherwise, very nice little spot. Oh my word! Woo! Yeah! Very good! Love it! Well that's a different view. So, over Ipswich now. I can glide clear just over to my right. For anyone interested, I'm at 1500 feet. I've got glide clear options should I have an engine out. So. But anyway, uh, the perks of the new airfield, which is just near Stowe Market, just north of Watersham Airfield, where the Apaches fly, um, we have access to the coast within 20 minutes. So I've got the River Orwell, the Orwell Bridge right in front of me, and I've got the River Deben off to the north, Woodbridge to the north of that. So, really easy access to the coast from here, actually. Considering it used to be an hour's flight from Ruffin in stable conditions. So, I was saying earlier about the amount of times that I've been flying in July and I thought I'd hardly flown. I looked at the logbook, I flew four times in July and I don't think I filmed one of them. I just wanted to go and have snatch a quick flight every now and again, and mostly early mornings. Oh, hello. What are you doing, love? Yes. Yes. So my wife had called me at this point just to tell me not to worry, but my sister had just had a serious car crash. But not to worry. Uh, just as I was flying over Ipswich and I'd noticed Ipswich Town were playing. So I was a little bit distracted. Tried to put that out of my head as I was flying and I needed to focus on the flying. But it turned out she was fine, car was written off and no one else was injured in the car crash. Thank goodness. I uh, was talking about how often I'd flown in July and I uh, flew four times and of those four times that I flew I wasn't really interested in filming as I'd said and, um, but I flew about six hours over those four flights but I realised there were not only was the weather pretty inconsistent, very changeable if it wasn't windy, it was wet so that really wasn't particularly conducive to uh, good flying conditions. But then the other factor was I got married. So I overlooked that fact. So that rode off two weekends and much of my free time in July uh, because I was quite focused. 
August. Oh, getting everything ready for that. And it all went brilliantly, thank you very much. So, uh, the, uh, so that's that. Anyway, back to flying. There you go, there's the airfield just down there. Nicely cut, Adam and Harry. I have to say, unbelievable job boys. Really um, cracking. I mean it's just it's a perfect little spot. But uh, you know it's time to land when you see an Apache taking off next year. So there's an Apache actually coming this way. Hmm. Best I get down low, I think. I think I might need to do a little bit of a descent so that number one, he can see me, and number two, I can bloody avoid him. Oh, hey, yay, yay, hey, hello, hey, night swing over. Yeah, he's coming this way. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. He's coming strip for me, fuck! <laughs> There's nothing you can do but sing when you see an Apache in your rearview mirror. <laughs> oh fuck, there he is. Best I keep straight and level now, keep an eye on it. Sure it is a anyway, he can see me. He's gone. You won't see him because he's a dot. I mean, he has actually, yeah, is an Apache and he has gone the other way. And there are no other friendly forces in the airspace at this time. Right! Oh, shit. Oh, that's quite a fast one. Alright, finish off that spin. And come in. Oh, lovely. Love it. Sweet! Oh, the wind's changed direction. Yep, typical. And I've got to land over. The pilots. Aye, aye, aye. I want to make sure I don't overshoot, boy. Glided a little bit further than I planned. Uh, well, nothing like turning the engine off when you're first landing in a new airfield. What are you doing, Simon? Meanwhile, they're wondering why I'm talking to myself. Hello! Slightly overcooked it! <laughs> Ah, oh, what a job you've done at this place. Lovely, isn't it? Amazing. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, cracking. We thought about not mowing that bit, but then we thought, oh, Simon might need to land there, so we, we did that bit as well. Uh, I, I switched the engine off all cocky, and I thought, I'm a bit high. <laughs> Just wash it off. Did you see the Apache? Yes. Yeah. Came in across the airfield. It was, oh my God, it was amazing. And uh, I've just been engine off thermal in from 1000 to 3000, just come over Bury, left the engine on, thermaled up to 4000. There it is again, I'm going into it. Wait, nice. The thing is, you don't get anywhere near enough fail. For those of you that have paramotored for a while, you'll know that you just don't get enough fail on a paramotor rig. In a 
in a paragliding harness with a paragliding wing, you get instant feedback when you go into a thermal. 